Okay, so I wasn't gonna, you know, I don't do this on my work days, but I feel like this was necessary because I just had the most. Like, I, I now I didn't have some trying calls because I do work in customer service. So I've been having some trying calls, but this one by far. He was really trying it, and I'd be trying to be prof as professional as I can, even though I am in this work row, in this row right now. I'm working from home, so I feel like I could be comfortable. I didn't want to wake up this morning, as I don't most of the mornings, because I'm not a morning person. Like, it takes time. You know, the afternoon-ish, I'm cool. Energy, boom, popping. But in the morning, no. It's already like, <sighs> we gotta wake up in the morning. We gotta go to work. And... My job is very interesting, nonetheless, because there be different, every call is different, you know, and people that are in the customer care field, especially as far as call, in the call, in the call center environment, situation, or whatever, it's, it's different. I couldn't even find no lip gloss or, or nothing over here. I think I did, but he just had me so distraught. I found it right now just looking at this over here because he just had me so distraught. So let me tell you about it. So <clears throat> I work for a company that helps people start their own business. Now, I mean, with quarantine in general, this is just future reference, so please listen carefully. I didn't even brush my hair this morning. I didn't know because I'm working from home and I had to get up and we clocked in at 8 o'clock in the morning. And I am on my lunch break too, so don't think that I'm just sitting here not taking calls and they're trying to look cute and stuff. No. Uh, but anyway, um, when you call in and i feel like this is a good advice for any customer calling a customer care representative whether that be in fast food whether that be in retail or whatever when you have to come to someone that works dealing with y'all customer with us customers because i can't even say y'all we all are customers in some way, shape, or form, or fashion, with whatever company that we either go to, whether it be with the phones, with with your internet, with your cable, whatever. So we all customers at, at the end of the day. When you call someone, you con come in contact with someone that took the time to take this app, to fill out this job application. We ain't saying to do your for you to do our job. Period. That's not what the case is because if you wanted to, you could have filled out this job application too. No. We take pride in the time that we took in to ourselves to, to get ready every day to deal with your customers. So I feel like at least take that in consideration because you as a customer would not want somebody else to be sitting here talking to you like that. Period. And I'm not yelling. Now, I have to be direct because this is a difference when I sit here and talk like this. Nobody wants to sit there and talk, take me seriously because they feel like I'm just this young, dumb, ditzy girl that just don't know nothing. So now when I talk like this, now I feel now you got to sit there and say I got an attitude or something like this. No, because you're not understanding. You want to sit there and try to run over a little sweet this one. No, because I'm sitting here trying to enjoy my day. I was having a good, great day. Even though I didn't even want to wake up this morning. My hair still looked like this. I had, was having a great day. My little uh, fashion nose rub feeling cute while I'm sitting here taking these calls. And he really just, really, really irritated my soul right now. Because he wasn't even mad about nothing. You really getting irritated behind my, behind my voice? I'm sorry, sir. I can't control that. This is my voice. But what you're not going to do is try to sit here and play me. You don't know what you're talking about. That's one thing. When you don't, when you are not educated or you don't know the information, you're, you're calling someone for a reason. You're doing, you're, you're going to that company for a reason because you can't do that yourself. Whether, unless you do have that yourself. And I, and I say this to the business owners. If you have a business, don't be sitting here having an attitude with everybody. Then nobody sit there and tell you to start your business. When someone are, and, and especially when someone is, is genuinely trying to get the knowledge that you have. It's a difference in, in that situation. Don't sit there and just act like just because you have a business that you're just better than somebody. No. Humble yourself. And that's the problem. There's those ones that's humble. And you have 
a great conversation. I was having a good conversation with my little home girl from New York. Well, you know what I say? And she really gave me the tea. I was having a good time, good conversation and everything, having a good day. And then here comes this call that really just irritated my soul because you don't want, you ain't humble. Humble yourself. We can, we, we all customers at the end of the day. And it's really sad that really, like, there's really a lot of business owners that are really rude and disrespectful as a management, as a man, and, 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 or in the management field. Like, don't be rude to people that, customers, period. You treat them like you want to be treated. The customer is always right. Don't you remember that satisfaction? That's a customer's satisfaction. Guaranteed. That, that that's what you want to holler, hoop and holler. Advertising? No. Then be genuine with it. Don't sit there and just be sitting here trying to play people. That's why people think that everything is a scam and stuff. Because you got those people that are hum that are not humble. That want to be extra. And not even a good extra. Like, see, I, I be the good extra sometimes, you know? But then I got to be extra, extra because when I'm being, when someone else is being extra to me, then I feel like I have to be extra with them. Like, you didn't have to do that. I'm just kind of calm. I'm just, just kind of calm you down, sir. Do you need me to reword what I said so I can, so I can address your question or your answer? Because I'm not an attorney, sir. So I cannot, I cannot answer legally what you're asking specifically. I'm sorry. That's it directly as I can answer it. Because I'm not an attorney. Kudos to those attorneys. Because, whoo, Lord child. And they have customers too. And that be us. And I just be like, dang. They really just be making me feel like, whoo. Do you really want to do that? That's why, I, that's why I feel. I've always felt so. I've, I've, I always had a soft, soft spot for teachers. Because I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it. Mm -mm. And you, I'm going to tell you why I couldn't do it. Because. I would love to teach those that want to be taught, that want to have the knowledge information, because I'm very, very thorough. I'm going to let you know. I'm going to let you know, let you know what you need to know and what you don't need to know. Or, you know, just giving you information that you may not, you may not have needed, but it could have been informative to you. I'm very thorough. That, that's just the Virgo and me, period. The Virgo and just me. <laughs> shoot but just like so i don't even understand why he was just being extra he really sit there and say he didn't like my voice like you want to get you want to get a supervisor because you don't like my voice sir i'm sorry that i sound like this but if you want to speak to somebody else you're more than happy to re call back to get another agent or i can go over this information that you asked him because you're not you're not allowing me to inform you of why i stated the things that i stated to you you're not allowing me to do my job, but then you want to get mad to ask a suit to to, to ask, request for a supervisor, but you're not letting me do my job. So what you mean? What you want me to do? The supervisor might tell you the same thing, and that'd be really that'd be the funniest thing. Let me tell you, because <laughs> my very first actual legal job, because you know I worked um, with my bestie and his dad with his little. Um, car dealing shop that was like i don't know that was just like a pretty cool thing to, for that to be my first job i was still in school and stuff that was really cool and r.i.p i mean not r.i.p <laughs> should it feel like r.i.p because i miss them so much free my nigga p period poo but um yeah, so like, but my first real, real legal job that I got, I had an actual W two because he, his dad used to pay me under the table. You know, that's just looking out on GP. Period. Uh, but um, yeah, my first job, like I was a waitress. Okay, a waitress at Pizza Hut. At Pizza Hut. Mm hmm. Making three dollars. An hour. And not in no recession or nothing. Just working $3 an hour. <laughs> Tips was I, right, Because, you know, I'm... I mean me. Like, everybody like my personality. You know, I'm friendly. I'm sweet, bubbly and stuff. But when you got... You gets me. Now I got to be direct. Now, you know, you don't want to like me. Now I got an attitude. I'm, up, like, uptight. High maintenance. High fashion. And all the extra stuff. No. Or I'm extra. No, I'm not. 
because you sit there and try to downplay those ones that are friendly, sweet, and bubbly, and genuine about it. Like, and I'm still genuine. Don't get me wrong. Ain't nothing fake about me besides my nails, maybe my hair, but I bought it. So that's still real. And there's still real nails and cuticles under these fake nails. So what you mean? They still nails to me. They still real. Whether they was your length, my length, whatever length, they just extended. Shoot. Oh, that get on my nerves too. Like, don't do that. This man really asked me one time. I was out. <clears throat> this fool really had the nerve uh, to come up to me and ask me if my if my hair was a wig. Skirt. <laughs> now, let, let me say something. It don't matter if my hair was a sewing, a wig, a, a, a um, quick weave, or it was my real natural hair. You don't give a damn. You don't. All you trying to do is what's been between my legs. And um, just for that question, you would never get that, boo. Sorry. You thought. Don't ever do that. That's so disrespectful. You don't even know me. Now, I can understand completely. If you ask me and we didn't spend some time, we just spent some dates or whatever, you just met me at the club or not even a club, a lounge at that. Don't do that. And we wasn't even there. Not even. No. No. It wasn't even at the lounge. It was at that gas station. Fool, what is wrong with people? Like, you thought my wig was really nice or something? Like, what you asked for? Then you want to get mad because I'm sitting there asking like this? Yeah, because you just, you you offended me. The fuck? Shoot, the heck what you mean? Who does that? Especially you as a dude. Are you gay or something? Because if you, if you, in, in, in with the LGBTQ girls, come here, sweetie, let me tell you, because this wig is popping, for real, for it to be a synthetic wig, I'm loving it. See, that's a, that's a difference between you trying to get some booty, asking if my wig is real or not, for what, what you need to know that for, what, you thought, you ask it, if you pull on it, is it gonna move, then be direct with your question. Because, no, it's not. I mean, it might be a little bit right now. Because <laughs> it's been on for a couple of days and I need to reinstall. But still, like, what you mean? <laughs> First of all, you ain't going to be pulling out my hair. That's one thing you don't do. We don't do that. Unless I say you can. And nine times out of ten, if I do allow you to, that's going to be my real hair. You ain't about to mess up my weed for what I pay good money for that. You know, hair is hair as far as the natural hair beauty. I do, and I am natural too. So that's different. That's that's so different. That's not the same. Because hair grows back. You can color that, do what you want to do to it. And if I want to wear a wig because I don't feel like coloring my natural hair, what difference does that make? You know, I look bomb as heck in it. Period. Even with my hair looking like. I just, the F hair, you know, when you just waking up after doing it, or just doing it, and then just like, but no, I'm not doing that. These legs are closed. Non-operated, op, non-operational right now. And I don't know if it's going to ever be that way, because people is nasty, and then they don't want to be honest or nothing neither. But that's neither here nor there. Back to the, to the topic of the conversation, because now I have to, you know, I tried to get myself back out of the, the funk, because he really had me messed up. So back to it. Period. Now, if he, and I feel like he, he heard my little Chanel's ratchetness a little bit. But I was trying to be professional. I had to put myself on mute a couple of times. Just because I was like, hmm, girl, humble, always stay humble and kind. So, you know, now Tim McGraw definitely did his thing on that. Listen to it. Listen to the words. Hear the words and, and take that upon your everyday life. Like, always stay humble and kind. I don't understand why that's so hard for people. Like, we've all... Unless, like, unless now I understand, too, with, like, parents or family members that was, like, really rude. But even if your family was rude, but your parents was nice, like, I feel like that's just parents. Now, not knowing any diff, no better, just, like, not having parents or not having your parents involved, I can understand completely where you may have that sense of, like, hatred towards the world or envy towards the world. But... There have, there should have been, there should have been at least one 
good person that you done came across in your life that changed your view of life. And if you don't have that one, you ain't living life right. Because there should always be that one that you like that's genuine in whatever they do that that you can call on at any moment in time. And I'm not just meaning financial. Don't think that everybody's out here to be an ATM and then get mad because don't nobody got the money like that to be sitting here just giving away. And then knowing, you know, people don't when people that you know when you know that person and you ask that person for money, of course they're not gonna give it back to you. They they feel like this is a sense of obligation because they're they cool. But see now if you t now you ask a stranger or someone that you don't know as well the same amount or s ask for something because you might not even want to ask for the full amount to that person because you're like oh you know they don't really know them like that I don't want them to think like that yeah the same thing but they they'll pay that person back real quick fast in a hurry because you don't want nobody to that you don't want them to to owe nothing to you but then you do like you just just say f everybody else. That, that's rela related to you where at the end of the day you know that you can count on that just don't make no sense but see that's why we all gotta humble ourselves because there's those people out here that's humble and there's those people that's not humble so yes there's a difference there's those humbles if it high, head high up to the sky because you humble you know you fix your crown and stuff and then you got those that's not simmer down pipe down little homie don't do all that so back to that, to that the little homie. He didn't like my voice. <clears throat> now, I know I do sound a little from Beverly Hills, a little Hillary sometimes, especially when I'm working because there's a sense of, you know, how to conduct yourself accordingly with who you're conducting yourself to always been something of mine let me stop doing all that because this is low-key hitting my lollipop and i'm not trying to have this pop off but yeah so it's just like <sighs> he didn't like my voice and then we had we got a process if i gotta put you on a hold whether i'm sitting here taking my nose doing something and we got a lot of stuff that we do it's not like it's just you you talk and say and, and that's just it like depending on the company there might be